So now it's time to discuss about the where clause. So what is where clause? First of all, I am saying sel select steric from students and all enter. So it's giving us all the records from the table, which is the students. Now the where clause is used to filter a record. How? The where clause is used to extract only those records that fulfill a specific condition. For suppose you are saying, oh, please show me the records who has one ID. Make sure I am talking about the S ID. So how can you do that? I am saying select steric from students. Now it's time to use where clause. It's a where clause. You can also use the small or cap capital. It really depend upon you. I am saying select steric from where from a student where S I D. So S I D is the condition. I am saying where S I D one. Here I am saying, oh please show me all the records from the student tables who has S I D. So control enter to execute the query. So as you can see, it's showing us only one I D. Or I am. You can also say, oh, please show me all the record from the student tables who has the S name equals to Sheikh Z. So now I'm saying because this is the integer field, this is the integer field. So that's why I'm using without single or double quotation. If I, and this, 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 these are the strings field. So that's why we need to use the single or double quotation. Now I'm saying that S name Show me all the records from student tables where S name equals to. Now I am saying Sheikh Z. Control enter to execute the query. So now as you can see, it's showing me only two records because the S we have only two records in our table named Sheikh Z. So that's why where clause filter your results. For suppose if I am saying, oh please show me the address s address s address this control enter so as you can see it's showing you the vocar and shakes these are the two fields so in this way you can use the where class if you are using the one column for suppose i only need the s address column s address column so I'm saying, oh, please show me only a single column from the student. Now I'm saying here I'm defining the criteria or I'm giving the conditions. Now control enter. So as you can see, it's only giving me the single column because I'm here saying, please give me the single column. Or you can also use select distinct control enter. So as you can see, it's only giving you the unique results. So now it's totally depend upon you how your logic and what you need. So you can, okay. So I think this is enough for today. In the next lecture, we are going to cover some other topics uh, for suppose and or not. So thank you for watching.